How you doing guys? Um, I just wanted to make a video on how to connect to the Rebirth uh, Vanilla WoW server. First thing you do is go to the rebirth.net and then you want to create an account. And this is actually going to be your account on the website, not your actual game account. So this is the first step. Now, once you get your account created, uh, you're going to go ahead and log in. And then, after you do that, you'll see that it says no game accounts found. You'll need to click the create game account button. And then just make up a username, put in your password and email address is going to be the account that you actually log into WoW with. Okay, once you do that, check your account list. It's going to show your game accounts that you have and now you're uh, registered on their server. The next thing you're going to do is you got to download the vanilla WoW um, zip file. Uh, it's a it's like I think five or six gigs um, you're gonna have to get a, a program to download torrents with uh, uTorrent or I personally like Deluge the best and that's what I use so I'm, I'm downloading the torrent right now and opening my Deluge client Alright, once you get that started, you got to let it download all the way. It's going to take probably a couple hours. Then you need to go to rarlab.com to get WinRAR. And the reason why you need this is for some reason the zip file that uh, is in the torrent uh, does not like the Windows zip unzip program. Um, it, won't, it will not um, correct... Uh, it won't unzip the file correctly and you'll have errors in files and all that stuff so that's why you need to get WinRAR install WinRAR go back to your Explorer right click on the WoW zip and do extract files pick a location you want to extract it then go to the location you extracted it and you find realmlist.wtf and you need to right click on that, go to properties, and uncheck the read only checkbox. Click OK. And then you're going to go right click and open into Notepad, the realm list.wtf. You need to set it uh, to the correct realm list. And now you're going to be ready to uh, connect to their server. Alright, the game account is the account that you will use to log in to the game. Okay, uh, once you get connected, make sure you pick the rebirth uh, server to connect to. And uh, then you want to create a character. And as you can see, I'm trying a bunch of different names and it's not working because people have been taking those names. And, oh, I guess I can't create an alliance character if I have a horde character already. So, let's uh, go and we'll create an undead rogue. Uh, that name's unavailable too. 
as you can see there's a lot of uh, players on this server alright there we go now go ahead and um, log into your character Bound to the iron will of the tyrant Lich King, the vast, undead armies of the Scourge seek to eradicate all life on Azeroth. Led by the Banshee Sylvanas Windrunner, a group of renegades broke away from the Scourge and freed themselves of the Lich King's domination. Known by some as the Forsaken, this group fights a constant battle, not only to retain its freedom from the Scourge, but also to slaughter those who would hunt them as monsters. With Sylvanas as their Banshee Queen, the Forsaken have built a dark stronghold beneath the ruins of Lordaeron's former capital city. This hidden undercity forms a sprawling labyrinth that stretches beneath the haunted woods of the Tirisfal Glades. Though the very land is cursed, the zealous humans of the Scarlet Crusade still cling to their scattered holdings, obsessed with eradicating the undead and retaking their homeland. Convinced that the primitive races of the Horde can help them achieve victory over their enemies, the Forsaken have entered an alliance of convenience. Harboring no true loyalty for their new allies, they will go to any lengths to ensure their dark plans come to fruition. As one of the Forsaken, you must massacre any who pose a threat to the New Order. Human, undead, or otherwise. Alright, now you got uh, your character created. Uh, you need to change your video settings because the default video settings are really crappy. So go ahead and uh, boost the video settings, and you should be ready to go. Let's go try and do a quest. Oh, I guess I need to change the uh, quick, quick uh, quest option as well. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Click OK. And then your quest should be coming in good now. Alright, there you go guys. Uh, you're all set up. And thanks a lot for watching my video.